Hey guys, Blazin here. Welcome to my analysis on the Stalker Rifle. The first thing I want to get out of the way is that there is no proper designation name for this gun. I don't know if it's because this gun is too new within the Halo universe, or 343 hasn't thought of any real name for it yet. Either way, the Stalker Rifle is a semi-automatic plasma rifle in service with the Banished. Although the Stalker Rifle resembles the T-50 SRS used by the Covenant, it differs in functionality and performance. The Stalker Rifle employs the same electromagnetic compositors as the T-52 SAR to launch bolts of superheated plasma at extraordinary distances. It contains a native link system that allows for various optic configurations. Atriox's elite brute stalkers work closely with the merchants of Kikos, which is an elite dedicated manufacturer and ones that made this weapon, to perfect its integrated sighting system. The stalker rifle is the preferred weapon of banished scouts, especially those closest to Atriox and Eshram. This gun has no trademarks to show off, so let's move on to the gun's features. This gun's entire stock is worth talking about. First off, the stock looks a little uncomfortable to shoulder, with only a small flat end. The cheek rest also seems uncomfortable. There are three weird slits sticking out, and overall, not a lot of room to rest your cheek on. That being said, this gun is fucking big, so maybe there's a lot more room to properly aim this gun than it looks. The gun also has a battery counter? Well, it basically functions like a UNSC ammo counter, and it's only on the left side. Moving towards the bottom is this button that is used to vent the heat and is ambidextrous. Moving on to sights, this gun does feature a scope that's capable of zooming in from a 3 up to a 6 times magnification. The scope also doubles as a heat meter as well. Moving on to in-game stats, the Stalker Rifle is able to shoot 7 shots out before the gun overheats, and the total amount of shots you can get out of the battery is 33. Each shot takes about 3% of the battery, and the total battery capacity is 100%. The fire rate I got was around 180 rounds per minute. The cooldown speed I got was around 2.48 seconds. The tactical cooldown speed, I guess, kind of varies since you can manually vent the heat from the first shot all the way up to the sixth shot. So I'll just show you what that looks like. Max effective range is around 21.6 meters. The max effective range when using the 3 times magnification on the scope is around 80.2 meters. And the 6 times magnification is around 160.2 meters. Moving on to damage output, it takes 2 shots to break shields and 3 shots to health, totaling a 5 shot kill. or two shots to break shield, and one shot to the head, totaling a three shot kill. Body shot TTK was around 1.66 seconds. And the headshot TTK I got was around one second. So what's my final conclusion on this gun? Well, I really like this weapon. I was genuinely surprised when I first tried it and that this gun actually has a slower projectile velocity, which I didn't expect. I really like the slower projectile velocity as this does add more skill to the gun at longer ranges. Now there is one thing I have to address to make sure I keep all your brains in check. 
This gun is not a sniper rifle. I know the game says it's a sniper rifle, but I firmly believe at this point 343 does not understand their own weapon sandbox in this game. Tell me, what kind of sniper rifle does not kill in one shot to the head in any first person shooter, or any shooter for that matter? That's like the main trait a sniper always has, is a one headshot kill capability. Sure it has two zoom magnifications and may have the range of a sniper, but the fact that it's not capable of killing in one shot to the head does not make it a sniper. This gun is just a really powerful battle rifle to the point that this is a tier 2 weapon. And that's going to do it for this video. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and share this video with your friends. Leave your comments below and subscribe if you want to stick around. And until next time, peace. Thank <laughs> you.